Watching porn is damaging your brain, ruining your relationships, lowering your confidence, giving you anxiety and making you depressed. What's up guys, Ben here and today I'm going to be explaining why porn can be damaging your brain and what are some things that you can do to fix this. So what is porn? Porn is the act of watching videos of sexual acts that give the viewer some form of sexual excitement. Porn is actually damaging your brain, making you unfulfilled, dissatisfied with life, and disconnecting you from reality. The vast majority of people watch porn and see it as something normal. However, this is just simply not the case. Only that, also, almost a dozen studies have linked porn use to depression. If you can relate to any of this, this video may help you. Studies have shown even recreational use of porn has been shown to lower gray matter in the brain and dendritic connections, which damages your ability to focus. You may be thinking, what are the benefits of porn? There must be some, right? Well, from what I have personally looked at, this couldn't be further from the truth. The most benefit people may claim that porn offers is the relief stress and it makes them feel relaxed. This may be true in short, but this is a temporary fix and within a few hours, you're back to feeling the same way you were before. So you may be now thinking, why is porn so bad? See, the reason porn is so bad is all to do with dopamine. The neurotransmitter most associated with porn use is dopamine. Dopamine is linked to motivation and drive. A study that was conducted on animals had stimulators implanted in their reward networks in their brain and they were put next to a lever that could be pressed at any time that would give them a dopamine induced pleasure response. Animals would press the lever to the extent where they started to neglect food and starve themselves. The same thing is happening when you're watching porn. Getting huge hits of dopamine, somewhat similar to what would be induced by taking a drug such as cocaine, for simply just pressing a few buttons on a screen. As humans, this is not how we were intended to be. And as we discussed, this is causing problems. Dopamine rises with an anticipation of an experience with a particular reward. In this case, we're talking about porn. Watching porn is causing your brain to be so stimulated that it cannot deal with the dopamine and is forced to start closing dopamine receptors. In these receptors, there is constant reuptake and therefore your baseline is always changing. When you are watching too much, these pleasure centers get worn out and life becomes understimulating, similar to that of a drug addict. If you're listening to this thinking you're in trouble, just wait a minute. When porn is damaging to the brain, there is a way out. Quitting porn will allow your brain to reset its baseline and you will start feeling better. It usually takes around two to three weeks of no porn to start feeling the effects. People have even reported having vivid dreams and a heightened sense of the surrounding environment after quitting. Does this mean you have to stop masturbation as well? Not necessarily. Porn is the real issue amongst men and for the most part is toxic and it takes much more than it gives. Another thing you may be wondering is why has no one ever told you about this if it is so bad? The reason for this is the fact that the type of porn we are watching now is very different to what the previous generations were looking at. It also shows in today's generation how desensitized to sex we are becoming. Not only that, depending on your worldview, you may recognize that men are being demasculated and this is another way we are becoming weakened as we are becoming slaves to our lower nature and this is dampening our consciousness and keeping us in a low state which means we are much more easily controlled. You quit porn and nothing happens. At the end of the day everyone is dealing with different levels of addiction. I believe it can take years in some cases for people to heal but I do believe it is well worth it. You don't want to have to picture yourself at 50 years old still needing to pull up the hub or when you're having sex with another person you need to use porn because you're that disconnected. Action steps. You have realised this is an addiction. Make a conscious decision to stop. Cut porn out for three weeks and observe yourself. If you feel better, act differently, have more confidence. You don't necessarily have to practice NoFap. However, there are also many benefits to this that I will cover in the future. Doing that is the first step in the right direction to becoming a better version of yourself and hitting your full potential in your life. In conclusion, I've shown you how porn could be negatively impacting your life. I hope this video has given you an insight into a brighter future that you could have. If this is something you only realise you've been struggling with or you've always known is a problem, be sure to let me know in the comments your experiences and I look forward to the next one.